G'day, Simon Brady here for another edition of Talking Timber. Today I'd love to talk to you about a new product that hasn't been long in Australia. They're called SPACs. As far as I'm concerned, they're the best decking screw and timber fixing connection screw in the world. The SPAC screws are made in Germany. They employ over 450 employees and they produce over 50 million screws a day for the world market. They specialise in stainless steel screws. Also, they have their own version of hot dip gel, which they call Delta Seal. They come in a range of countersunk style heads. They come in a range of washer style heads, as well as deck version screws, all the way from 50 mil, all the way up to these large 120 mil screws for holding boardwalks down. So, why are they so good? In Australia, we've only ever been used to using cheap Chinese made screws, particularly in the stainless steel ranges where the heads are extremely soft, the screws shear off. What we've found with SPACs is you can, you can put these screws in, A, firstly they don't break, second, you can reverse them back out, termite observation areas, anything like that, you can take the screw back out. What I was going to demonstrate here is they have that little lock in spline, very similar to a gearbox. So actually as they go into the bottom of the screw, they'll actually lock in. So as they go in, they lock in. Now once they lock in, you cannot flex that bit out of the, of the actual screw itself. You cannot, unless you're, you haven't actually locked it in properly. These types of SPAC screws here are the German version of a hot dip gelf, what we would call hot dip gelf in Australia. It's called Delta Seal or Wirox. Um, the salt test sprays we've had done here are in excess of 1500 salt hours compared to a traditional bugle headed batten screw that you might see in general construction work on, on in Queensland. Uh, they have about a 300 hour salt spray rating. So these fixings you'll actually see councils are using them in boardwalky areas, post and rail fencing areas, around civic, uh, civic applications. They don't even need to use a lot of stainless steel now in these certain areas because of the quality of these products in their stainless steel range, which seems to be their their um, best product range. Even their 304 stainless steel seems to be far superior than the Chinese 316 we've come across. Uh, the majority of the screws we use here, you never need to use a 316 rated screw. After talking to the engineers in Germany, they said the only time you would use their 316 rated screw would be on the floor of a trawler. So we've used these on the Noosa boardwalk, countless boardwalks in the Sunshine Coast, and we've sent them all the way down into Melbourne. So the latest deck screw is called a SPAX D, D for decking, and they use a completely new different technology. We're, you, uh, in Australia we're used to using bugle head, trumpet head, or countersunk style screws. They, these are not deck screws. However, you can use them for decking, but what happens with the expansion and contraction is that you will find the screw, just like a nail, will eventually sit high of the board, which, and then when you go to retighten them, it's very hard, you often break them. With a SPAX D screw, they use a different technology where they have the thread at the top and the thread at the bottom. You pre-drill and countersink, you always pre-drill timber, always pre-drill. The world's best decking screws or the world's best timber screws tell you to pre-drill. There's no such thing as a screw that you put in without pre-drilling because what happens to the sawdust and, 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 and the grub of the wood as you, as you put the screw in, it's got to go somewhere. So it splits the timber with time, so you have to pre-drill. So these engineered screws, they recommend pre-drilling. So as you drive them in, they actually um, are the only screw system in the world that they guarantee that you will never need to retighten them. Because as that thread there taps into the, to the deck board and that thread taps into the joist, and there's that smooth section in the middle there, that's there for life. So you can get expansion and contraction between the joist and the deck board, and that screw will never sit high of the board, ever. Beauty of these, being a, a, a T25 Torx drive with the lock-in nib, you can then come along and you can take it back out if you have a termite observation area or you just have a board that's playing up or faulty. So they do those all the way through in a um, five millimeter um, A2 or 304, all the way through to the granddaddy, which they designed that one for boardwalks, that's for 50 mil timber. That one there is a 316 rated screw. Um, and if you look at councils across Australia, they have full-time crews going around boardwalks and retightening decks. This product, you never need to do it. The thread's there. Builders say, oh, what holds the timber down? Oh, you, you know, it hasn't got a countersunk head. You don't need a countersunk head. I've proven it, we've sold hundreds of thousands of these on, on the Sunshine Coast, they work. So that's the best screw, that's the SPAX D. This is a typical situation on a deck. 
A builders use bugle headed batten screws to put a, a wide board down. This is a super deck, which is a 140 by 32 board. Heaps of expansion and contraction, heaps of tension on the board. Now, you can see exactly what's happened here. He's got the screw nearly all the way in and the head's threaded out. These stainless steel screws that come out of overseas, uh, not mainly out of China, are soft and easy to break. So what happens is with expansion and contraction, that head end, ends up sitting high. And that's what happens with a classic bugle head, countersunk head or trumpet style head screw. They're not a deck screw. If they used a screw like that, and 10 years ago we didn't have them, okay, so I understand that, but with a screw like that, you would never, never need to retighten it. So from a, from a building point of view with councils or whatever, government departments, these products will save you money in the long run. So in this size board here, we can actually use this five mil version, but we use an 80 mil because we're not relying on the head. A lot of people like a nice petite look too. So you don't have to have this big, big nut and bolt type head look. This screw here, which is a 10 millimeter washer head delta seal. This sort of screw here can be used in construction, tying rafters down to, to beams or joists down to bearers without having to use triple grips, joist hangers, or heavy duty metal brackets or tie down straps. If you look at this image up here, this is a, obviously a European image. Um, you will not see any brackets. You will only see timber on timber and it's a far superior look and it's a lot stronger system. It won't fail under cyclone testing and this is the beauty of this product range. We soon won't have to worry about using unsightly brackets in exposed applications. What I've made up here is just a very small display demonstrating how a SPAX D screw works. I've got a nice little piece of 136 by 19 Western Queensland spotted gum, a little bit of imported 90 by 19 Merbau Aquila, and a lovely piece of 140 by 32 Super Deck. And I've put them in, pre-drilled and screwed them in. Now, what I'm gonna demonstrate is how the double thread system works. So I actually screwed the deck board to the joist with this screwdriver between the two layers. What I'm going to demonstrate is when you pull that screwdriver out, there's going to be a five to eight millimetre cavity there. Now, I'm not a light little thing, I'm 110 kilos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on top of that and show you that that thread stays in the deck board and the thread stays in the joist, obviously, and that stops the deck board from clapping back down to the joist. So this is what will happen or what can happen with ex expansion and contraction down the road with your deck out in the weather. Even if you get a cavity between the deck joist and the deck board, it's not gonna matter. The head of the screw is not gonna come back up. You're not gonna have to retighten them. You're not gonna have people tripping over them. Beauty of it is too, three years down the road, if you need to take a board up, guess what? You can take it back up. It's not a problem at all. So I'll demonstrate now. I'll pull the screwdriver out. Jump up and down, and those deck boards haven't moved at all. Okay, so the beauty of these SPAC screws is it will cut your installation time by almost half. We had a trade night here with nearly 100 builders. We had the German um, guys from SPAX here having a competition with our builders. Builders were putting in bugle headed batten screws, our guys are putting in SPAC screws. And what we would do, we would time them, we'd have the, the builder putting in three batten screws. We would then go along and time in, then we would put three German screws in. But not only did we put them in, we would take ours back out and we were still 30 seconds quicker. So even though you're going to pay more for this product, your installation and the speed of putting these in will probably almost cut your installation time by half. Now, I've sold, if not millions of these in the last three or four years. I've not had one builder that I've referred these to or used these come back, have never gone back to using a cheaper screw because that they know they can put them in without having breakages, slippages, shearing issues. They love them. And this is what I love about this product. They aren't cheap, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but when it comes time for you to put them in, you sleep a lot easier. I'm passionate about SPAC screws. I, I absolutely love them. I love selling them. I love having my customers come back to me and say, Simon, I wished I'd bought these years ago. Uh, you will not have any dramas with these. I highly recommend them. Paid a little bit extra money. 
and the builder will love it and your client will love it. They're a very neat finish. So I'd like to wrap up this episode of Talking Timber. I'm Simon Brady and I really look forward to seeing you on the next edition of Talking Timber.